Folks, uh, my comments on this briefly. To me, sure looks like a weaponized, two-tiered justice system where Donald Trump was charged with 40 criminal counts and Joe Biden charged with being a, quote, sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory, end quote. And, oh, by the way, no criminal counts against Biden. In the Robert Herr report, here is one of the conclusions. Let me quote. Still in a case where the government must prove that Mr. Biden knew he had possession of the classified Afghanistan documents after the vice presidency and chose to keep those documents, knowing he was violating the law, we expect that at trial, his attorneys would emphasize these limitations in his recall. End quote. One, then the report goes on to say, Mr. Biden's apparent lapses and failures in February and April 2017 will likely appear consistent with the diminished faculties and faulty memory he showed in Zwanitzer's interview recordings and in our interview of him. So, I ask, why was former President Trump charged while former Senator and former Vice President Biden not charged? Here's a key point. Trump, as president, had the authority to take documents with him and then hold them in safekeeping in his possession. Biden, as senator and vice president, had no such authority. He broke the law. Now, as far as sloppy handling of classified docs, well, my first point is Biden shouldn't have had the docs in the first place. My second point is that Mr. Trump may have been guilty of sloppy handling, but no one can know for sure, because it's all hearsay. But if he waved some document in front of a visitor, he didn't let the visitor read the document, nor was he ever selling documents to foreigners. And all these are reasons why this whole Jack Smith special counsel indictments of Trump is a political hoax, a politically motivated attack to prevent Trump from winning the election while serving in jail for about 700 years. And you can bet that all this lawfare sabotage against Trump was ginned up right smack in the Oval Office and passed down the Merrick Garland Justice Department, just like the bogus New York and Georgia cases. Look, we can also bet that while Mr. Herr and his superiors in the Justice Department and the White House may not have intended any problems with this report. And of course, they tried to minimize the significance of any problems. The reality is, this report blows the lid off of the Trump charges and the Biden illegalities. Now, about one year ago, I interviewed former Vice President Mike Pence shortly after the Trump classified docs attack began. And here's what the former Vice President said. Please take a listen. As a former vice president, Joe Biden had uh, had no authority to declassify uh, documents uh, or uh, or to retain them in his uh, in his possession. So there you have it: no authority to declassify, and no authority to keep those documents in his possession as a former vice president. I tell you what: it would be nice to hear some other former vice presidents presumably with their memories intact, to back up what Mr. Pence said. But the fact that Mr. Biden doesn't have all his marbles, as the Her report clearly shows, is no excuse to let him off the hook. And the fact, from Joe Biden on down, is trying to sabotage this presidential election through a phony, undemocratic, unconstitutional lawfare campaign is an absolute disgrace. And that is my view.